Hi, it's our showstopper from HGTV Home. It is the solar powered deck fence light. You have asked for these on our website at hsn.com. You've asked for these on our Facebook page. Um, and th now they're here. They're solar powered lights that are a little bit more modern that offer you above ground lighting that you can apply anywhere you want. You can order the four pack for only $34.95 at the this visit only price, or you can order them on the six pack for $53.95. Both are on two flex payments, both are free shipping. This is a showstopper and you're gonna love them. Okay, Peter Kilcullen is with us. They are from Daintily. That's the brand that you love. That's the brand that you've absolutely right. adored, that we brought you the big configurations of the solar powered light uh, staking systems. Yeah, exactly, they bring us our color changing, morphing lights, all of those. But we've never had a light like this. Bill, just like you said, this is gonna take that solar lighting or your lighting and it's gonna bring it up off the ground a little bit. But check this out, this is gonna go not in the ground, not hanging on, uh, on a hook or any of those other ways that we display the lights, but this is going to go against the fence. It's going to go against the railing on your deck, all those posts all around the deck. And what it can do is put this at about three feet off the ground so it's lighting up that area around that deck or that walkway or going up the stairs where you can put each one of these at the against the wall by the steps leading up to a deck, a porch, a patio. And there you go, Bill. You've got that, that solar panel on the top. And then, again, just like all our lights, when the sun goes down, the lights automatically come on. So you're actually covering that sensor right there. And then the, we, we're going to bring our lights down. As the lights go down, the as the sun goes down, the lights come on. Here, our lights are going down. And then the lights come on automatically, which I think is great. And we just have to bring the lights down all the way. I just don't think it's dark enough for the lights. The lights there they up go. Here, yeah, the lights up here are... Wow. Are, uh, they go. are, oh my Once goodness. Once it gets completely dark. Look at the amount of light. Exactly. A tremendous amount of light because, again, unlike some of the path lights that have a single super bright LED bulb, these have two. Two super bright LED bulbs in each one of the lights, which I think is amazing. And when you put them on the wall, you see how they're going to project that light down. So perfect. Here it is, Bill. Think about that fence that you might have on the side of your house and you have a path leading to the backyard. And you're thinking, how in the world am I going to get light back there? Now you can hang these on the fence as you walk down. You can put these on your raised wooden deck or patio, put them on that, the railing that goes these around. These were not even on all bright. These were exactly. on the low, a setting. low I am crazed over this. They because really Because I want are. these for my patio. Exactly. It's the first time that you can have lights that can go on a patio where you're not, you're not having to stick them in the ground with a staking system. You can screw them to the wall. Now, there's a, there's, it comes with all the hardware, the screws that you need. Very simple to install. You can give them more of a temporary installation or you can use all the screws involved and you can give them more of a permanent installation as well. And they fun and they really are, they are bright, aren't I they? I mean, they really are. Well, when, you, when you hold like them up. I like you can put these all over the place. You can put them down the walkway if you've got, put them on the side of a tree if you want to. You could. I mean, this is really cool as long as, you know, they're not shaded and they get, um, well, the tree's gonna shade them a little bit. But, you know, they, when the sun goes from one position to another, they look great mounted outside. Yeah, there, any, any areas along your fence, it's gonna be perfect. There, if you have that gardening table, something like that, you can put those lights there, and it will just illuminate if you're walking back and forth along that fence line. But I, I love them on the deck. If you can see them on a deck, that would be similar to a fence like where we have them on the front of this display. But you can have them on those deck posts around that whole perimeter of your wooden deck. They're perfect. And they project that light down. They are very bright because we have the two super bright LED bulbs. Now, installing them... I think they, they look so nice. You know what? And I do they're like so that clean. when they're elevated a little bit more. Normally, I was thinking them a little bit lower. See, but, but elevated like that, they could be really nice. Dust comes and you have automatic illumination outside where you may not have conduit. And let me tell you something. I'm getting quotes right now for electricians. Um, for my mom, who, my mom's house. My mom passed away last October, and I'm running some power and some lighting. Oh my gosh, things are expensive. I mean, it's funny because I haven't had to have an electrician come to my house for 10 years because I've been living in a townhome. Wow. Let me tell you, you don't want to call an electrician to run power to a light. They can charge you, you know, they charge you a visit fee and then they charge you by the hour. You're gonna love these. You order the four pack or six pack. They're both on two flex payments. And if you don't believe that these are gonna be great for you, 
try them out because guess what? We only have 150 now left of the six pack. They are outselling the two, the four pack, three to one, and they're free shipping. So this is the day to get them. Yeah, you could. We should get the six pack. You can put them all over. Some of the other ideas besides putting them on the deck and certainly on that fence around the side of the house. What about just having one of these on the front of your house above the the number address to your house, so you can light that up at night, so people can see that that number to your house. Just anywhere we want to have that little bit of light projecting down. You can fix it to the wall. All the screws are provided. It comes with the battery automatically comes on at night, then it's going to recharge that battery during the day and give you that long run time. Now there is a high and a low button, and the, the illumination is not that different, but what it's doing for you is, I, you can just see that as I switch it back and forth, it just changes a tiny bit, but what you're getting is you're increasing that run time when you use that low setting, because you're not using as much battery power, but the difference in light is not even that great, so long run time, weatherproof and waterproof, you can see them there. Just imagine that's your fence and you're spreading those out a bit more, they are going to look great. And they're really, you said at the very top, Bill, that it's a much more modern look. You can put them higher or lower, wherever you want. Illuminate your fence, your deck, easily and without that expensive electrician like you mentioned. If you want the six pack, you need to order them right now or you're going to miss out on them. By the way, if you ever have them mounted and you want them to be in the totally off position, each one of them come with a special battery that is a... Um, a, a rechargeable battery right. that is designed to work with solar power. You just pull the battery out of the back plate. Sure. See right back here. Look. And that way you don't have the battery in there. And that way if you're traveling, you don't want them to burn at night, that's fine. Okay, but it's easy to do. And then you just take the little catch there and you lock it back down. And then, oh, it's on backwards now. There we go. Underneath. It goes kind of in. There. Of course, that's, it the, does. that's the mounting. <laughs> what, you, what you're seeing right there, yeah. What Bill's showing you right here, those, those uh, are the two areas. A, I can be such a moron. <laughs> See, that's why I need these because guess what? If you think I'm running power lines, it isn't happening. Right, those are just the two screw a, holes right there <laughs> to mount it. And for a permanent installation, there's actually How does that go in there. There's a third. <laughs> there's a third screw hole down the bottom, which you're able to do from the outside. See, from here, you put the screws on there. They're just about exactly two inches apart. Mount the screws and then just hook that on there, right? So they don't go through the unit. But if you really want that permanent installation, you just put a screw through the front and into that fence and you have a more permanent installation. So we've never had a light like this. There's that solar panel, the same technology that we have in those path lights. Oh my gosh, these and are so neat. I mean, they're really I, well, first bright. First of all, we've never offered anything modern. We've never offered anything that's more slick and slim and trim line. Something that's unobtrusive that will just offer you you light you want these for lighting anyway have them in the carport if you don't have an overhead light in your